for the plant to grow. You can even grow citrus in this environment, citrus trees. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so what is aquaponics? That's the third uh, type of uh, vertical farming. Aquaponic focuses on creating a symbiotic environment for aquatic animals. So what I like about it is the, this idea that we create something that's similar to um, a type of natural environment. So if you think of a pond, um, pond is home to different kinds of uh, animals, fish, but also uh, plants, different kinds of plants and uh, plants and animals coexist and then support each other so they create this environment where many different species can coexist and thrive. So the water from the aquatic animals is fed to the, um, to the plants within the system. And then animal byproducts, they serve as nutrients for the plants. So the, the system is a bit more complicated because uh, farmers add uh, special bacteria that uh, helps uh, process or break down the uh, the feces of the of the animals, fish or snails or, or um, whatever they decide to to grow, and this in turn serves as the nutrients, biological uh, fertilizer for the plants. So it looks something like that. So you can see that you have different levels. So it can also be stacked. Like in in this picture, I think it's not really vertical but you can also find uh, places where it's um, kind of they utilize this the, the height the vertical space so you can see that it's kind of a pond so you can see fishes there and in the same container there are um, they grow lettuce looks like lettuce or some some other plants okay so this is a very interesting idea too because it does not only supply fish it also supplies your side dish or your salad. Okay, so just a quick uh, summary. Why is vertical farming beneficial? There is no agricultural runoff. We can have year-round crop production because it's indoors, because uh, plants do not suffer from uh, natural disaster or uh, from severe weather events, etc. Vertical farming uses 70% less water due to water recapture, so water is recycled, and also due to sophisticated irrigation, drip irrigation systems. Waste to energy approach, so uh, animal byproducts, animal waste, instead of uh, uh, being being seen as some kind of uh, you know damaging agent, is uh, being turned into biological fertilizer, so it's fed back to the plants. There is, it's virtually waste free. There are no agrochemicals or fossil fuels used because this approach allows us to grow food locally. So there is no transportation. Food can be grown within a large city, within the community, and there is no need to transport at large distances so the demand for fossil fuels reduces dramatically. Um, it's suitable for confined spaces, so we don't need acres and acres and acres of land. Uh, we can uh, do it in small areas. It allows to repair of damaged ecosystems. It allows um, soil to repair itself, uh, so we can it can get some respite. Okay, so here are some. I don't know how much time do I have left. In my five minutes. Okay, so good. I just briefly want to share with you those beautiful projects, and I'm not sure from what I've been reading, I'm not sure at what stage those projects are in, uh, but they look very, very futuristic and exciting. So this is a project, Dragonfly, in New York, and I'm sure it has not been built yet, but they, they talk about it. I don't know why it's called Dragonfly, it looks like a butterfly to me, but the idea is that this is a huge glass building in New York downtown that's all devoted to vertical farming. And the beauty is that uh, this building is capable of producing enough greens to supply the city of New York. So it's 
food, it's greenery produced locally, there is no need to transport it, it's consumed locally, anybody can visit and see where his or her salad comes from. And I think it's a great, I don't know, if you ask me, it looks much more attractive than the Statue of Liberty. And if this becomes the new symbol of New York, I think that's a wonderful future development. Uh, there is also another project, uh, Circular Symbiosis Tower from South Korea, so you can see here from the distance. So the idea is that this tower, again, it's dedicated almost entirely to agriculture. It grows um, cattle feed, essentially. So you can see cows grazing on the meadow indoors within the tower so the tower looks like a spiral so you can you can enter it at the bottom and then you just keep walking up 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 kind of spiraling up like that so first the lid and the cows the cows eat and as they eat they move up 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 and then the cows are followed by sheep somebody who needs less grass and they they capable of sustaining themselves on, uh, on the leftovers after the cows so the cows keep fall uh, the sheep keeps following keep following the cows going up and then after the sheep they have chicken who still can find something on the same uh, grazing land so everybody moves up 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 and then the interesting thing is that the same building has restaurants and bars at the ground floor so I imagine a slaughterhouse of some sort. I'm a vegetarian, so I didn't go into those details. But the idea is that it's all your your lattice, your carrots, your uh, your steak, and your eggs are all produced in the same building and and are served to you in the same building as well. So this is a, a wonderful idea. I don't know. I, I I don't think this has been implemented. I think it's just a um, at this point point that's a that's a project. But that's. Um, what we are moving forward. And I think I'll stop here. Thank you.